Hey y'all, we are out at One Source Trucks in Burkeville, Virginia on a very, very cold, but luckily sunshiny and not rainy afternoon. Gonna do some demo videos of some of the school buses that we've got available for sale. Uh, this one is a 2006 Bluebird, uh, flat front, all American, full size, so 78 passenger, um, about 40 feet long has a cat 72 motor and Allison automatic transmission. Now, out of all the school buses that we've kind of um, gotten in and played with the features and the functions, let me tell you, everything on this one that we have tried works. So I'm gonna do my best to get up in on and explain and show all of the different features of this thing working just like it should. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little beacon light, just a blinking up there like it's supposed to on the top of this unit. Um, Thomas is inside. He's helping me out today and he has just opened the passenger doors and I hope you can see that little mechanism where the stop sign would be is working and I'll see if I can get him to do it one more time for us because can you do that one more time? This is your little flipper for like if you had the if you wanted to put the passenger entry little thing on there I don't even know what to call it um, but yeah everything on this bus has worked uh, the radio works the passenger entry lights work the overhead passenger lights work um, the turn signals the flashers everything that's on this bus has worked yo let me tell you what's nice and where I get spoiled with my job I sell units that come from Virginia now, we haven't cleaned this yet. You'll notice in the ad I talk about how overwhelmed I am with all of these buses that I have purchased. So, all right, this hasn't even been cleaned. But I want you to look at what the undercarriage of a unit from Virginia looks like. Completely rust-free on this one. Sometimes in areas where there's lots of inclement weather, the rear tires will kick up and start creating some rust or corrosion back here at the rear wheel well, and we don't have that on this bus. Starts right up, no smoke, no blow by. We've got some rear hazard lights working and blinkers. So we are in Burkeville, Virginia at One Source Trucks today. Um, the phone number to call or text is 804-928-9099. And our website is carnetcars.com. All that information is gonna be on the, on the description. I don't know if you can see your little passenger entry lights have all come on. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick sweep here. Now you're gonna notice that uh, my units have got little identifiers. Um, that's the last four digits of the VIN with a dozen school buses that can all start to look very much the same. Um, I've tried to put that designation on them in a couple of different spots. Uh, just want to show that the glass is all in good shape on this one. Lock on your entry door. All of your handles for passenger assist, assistance, I guess I should say. Um, I also found in here, um, this is the, sorry, I'm just holding this down because it's like windy. Um, this is the Virginia State Safety Inspection um, performed on this less than a year ago with 186,000 miles. It just turned 190. Um, so you can see that it didn't need any repairs for that inspection that was done by the previous and first original owner. Um, this is a one owner clean titled unit excuse me for the sniffling y'all it is cold um that's just your clock which it would appear um it needs to be reset it says 59 but y'all let me tell you it is a very cold 59 it's blustery i think is what they call it 
Uh, all the gauges reading just like they should. It does have a radio um, and a PA system, and that works. Um, also, these little power mirrors on both sides work. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but they work top and bottom. So right, right now, I'm moving the top, I flip the switch, and I'm moving the bottom. And the same over here, I'm moving the top, I flip my switch, and I'm moving the bottom. So that's kind of cool. Uh, radio, let's see, turn this on. There we go. I have no idea what station it's set to, y'all. Okay, so right now it's set um, to speaker. And then I can, oh, goodness gracious. Okay, I can use my little microphone. Oh, I guess it would help if I, it would have helped if I was uh, pulling my microphone in the correct direction. But hopefully you can hear that what I am announcing is playing through your radio. When I let go of the little button on the mic, it goes back to the radio. Center state. So, super nice. Production of Wolf Trap uh, and CDC. Super nice to um, have those that actually work. Air ride, adjustable driver's seat in good shape. You can see it's not tore up. It's not all stained up. Um, you've got pretty traditional bus seats. I mean can't imagine there's anything real special or unique about a bus seat um pretty clean straightforward unit um it does have the flip cushion for the emergency exit row all of your overhead lighting works as well as all the speakers so i'm gonna go to the back of the unit and it's pretty quiet. Like normally by the time I get to the back of the unit, I'm kind of having to yell over um, the engine to get my voice to project and not the case in this one. You can see that for a school bus, these seats are really in surprisingly good shape. Like no rips, no tears, no graffiti, none of that nonsense. All of the little black um, dots that you see along the ceiling are your speakers. So, really nice, clean, straightforward unit. Um, all of the glass uh, seems to be in good condition. I don't see any cracks on any of the windows or doors or anything, which is um, definitely a bonus. So, again, this is a 2006 uh, Bluebird All-American flat front rear engine. Um, I feel like this is really checking a lot of the boxes for people that like to do... Uh, conversions and schoolies because you do have a pre-emission cat 72 motor um, rear engine um, and I will say the biggest thing that people comment on with the rear engine is um, how big this doorway is um, if you are shopping buses you do get a different entryway with the um, with the front engine and you don't you do not have to step over the doghouse um, that is not a rip. That is actually just a little pouch. I noticed that in the corner. I didn't want to even think that was ripped. Um, so you don't have to step over the doghouse in your rear engine units like you do in the front. So gosh, y'all, you know, I really just can't even tell you anything other than um, maybe a bath that I could recommend for this unit. I mean, even your little cushion um, for your overhead, um, I guess, forehead bumper, if you will. Um, you know, even, even that works. So radio works, PA system works, power mirrors work, lights inside and out work, uh, tires are all in great condition. We've driven this unit about 150 miles and it drove out just exactly as could be expected. Um, so definitely I would say in terms of being uh turnkey, this one is, uh, this one is um, definitely a good option for something that if you wanted something that was running and driving and operational and ready to go. Now, before I got this unit, 
the county took off some of the emergency lights. It looks like they did that in a way that would make it very easy um, to potentially reinstall lights if that's you, what you wanted. Um, I'm also happy to cap them off. So if you just wanted like a piece of metal riveted on there, or if you wanted um, just like a dummy light lens put on there, I'm happy to do that as well. Um, super easy for us. Um, I am a completely full service truck center. Um, we only service our inventory, but um, I do have a bunch of buses, school buses and other. I do have a pretty large shop down there and some guys that are here all the time. So if you wanted us to do, um, to cap those off, I generally wait until I find out what someone's gonna do with them before I do that, because my luck is I'll rivet it and you'll want just, you'll want lenses or vice versa. So if you want more information on this bus or any of the others, please feel free to call 804-928-9099.